You want the best for your car? You already watch our tutorials. So the best place for the best deal is to buy from the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk shock absorbers used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off and pull up the handbrake. Loosen the rear wheel stud bolts. Raise the back of your vehicle. Place the vehicle on axle stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial Raising your vehicle safely before carrying out this step. You must remove the wheels in order to change the rear shock absorbers on your car. This will give you full access to the suspension system. Remember to slide the wheels under the vehicle. You can now see the back shock absorbers on your car. As the components to be removed are very often seized up, don't hesitate to brush and to use penetrating oil to facilitate the operation. Then, using a 16mm spanner and a 16mm socket wrench, loosen the bottom screw on the shock absorber. Finish the process up by hand and remove the screw. With a socket wrench, a long extender and a 16mm socket, remove the two upper holding screws. You can now extract the shock absorber. Okay, guys, if we can share this video with you and help you save a lot of money, is also thanks to our partner, Mr. Auto. So, if you want to support us and buy the part for this operation, visit their website. Okay, back to work. You will find the bulk parts and products used in the video on the Mr. Auto site and in the link in the description. When changing the shock absorbers, you can also change the suspension strut support bearing as well as the shock absorber stop and its protective sleeve. You can also reuse them if they are not too worn down. Take the new shock absorber. Before installing the new shock absorbers, it is necessary to prime them by pressing the shock absorber rod vertically so that the gas and the hydraulic fluid are separated. Take the new shock absorber stop and slip it into the protective sleeve. Take the new support bearing and insert it into the stop. Insert the shock absorber into the assembly. Screw the nut back on. Tighten firmly using a 17mm socket or the special tool that holds the shock absorber rod. You have now finished preparing the new part. Position the shock absorber and put the upper holding screws in place. Then screw it back in. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Put the lower fastening screw in place and tighten the nut somewhat to avoid damaging the silent blocks. Make sure to finish tightening the shock absorber's lower fastening screw with the rear axle and the vehicle on the ground position. Lift the rear axle with a jack. Once under pressure, finalise the tightening of the screw using a torque wrench. Then you will be able to put the wheels back on your vehicle. Put your car back on the ground and block the wheels securely. 
Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.